Hi, my name is Joe Dinefer, and we're here for the Your Return Tip, and we're going to be talking today about the Chip Return to Serve. Now, the big thing about the Chip Return to Serve is where you stand when you're going to execute it, because one of the benefits of the Chip Return to Serve is because you will not have any grip change. We're talking about a continental grip for both sides, whether it be forehand or backhand, is because you don't need the time, you can stand in closer. Also, you don't need a big backswing to generate pace because the ball comes off the ground with topspin and when you hit with backspin, you are not changing the direction of the rotation of the ball. That means you don't have to generate as much power, you don't need as much swing speed, you don't need as much backswing. So watch me as I hit a couple and I'm going to stand inside the baseline and hit a couple of chips. You'll notice that we have targets. I'm going to be aiming for that deep target for the purpose of this tip for your return. Okay. So for the chip return to serve, whether it's a forehand or backhand, you want a continental grip, you want to move in to take pressure off you and put pressure on your opponent. The other element of that shot is to chip and charge. So what we would do is you would simply hit the chip and follow inside the court hoping for a weak return from your opponent that you can then volley. And for that one, you want to make sure that you're further inside the court. That's the end of this tip for this month's Your Return. Thanks for joining us.